Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily, where today we're alpine climbing in Alaska and sport climbing in Germany. It seems that the alpine climbing season is well underway in Alaska and two impressive new routes have been done in the Denali range. One on Mount Huntington and one on its neighbouring peak, Idiot's Peak, and yes, that is its real name. First, Josh Wharton and Will Mayo climbed a new route called Scorched Granite on the intimidating west face of Huntingdon in an incredible 13 and a half hour round trip, grading it M7 Ice 6. Mayo had heard reports of perfect conditions on the mountain, called Wharton and flew them both into the range on his own small plane, meaning that within two days of leaving their homes in Colorado, they'd done the route. Meanwhile, on Idiot Peak, Utah climbers Scott Adamson, Aaron Child and Adam Knight made the first ascent of down the rabbit hole on the west face. Even getting to the route was incredibly committing, so the grade of M6 Water Ice 5 Plus definitely only tells half the story this time. Next, we've got a really inspiring video of German strongman Jan Hoyer repeating Action Direct in the Frankenjura region of his home country. It was the world's first 9A when it was climbed and remains a true benchmark for any aspiring hard climbers. Viel der Sprung zu Wolfgangszeiten vielen Leuten noch deutlich schwerer als heute. Wolfgang Gulick, who made the first ascent of Action Direct in 1991, was also the first person to climb 8B then the first to hit 8B plus and 8C. Only Ben Moon's Hubble, the world's first 8C plus, interrupted Wolfgang's raising of the bar, but the German was firmly back in charge when he finally reached the ninth grade by climbing action. He was killed in a car crash in 1992, and we can only wonder what else he might have achieved if he was still here. This was so... Jan is currently in second place by just one point in the overall standings for the IFSC Boulder World Cup, so I think we're going to be hearing a lot more from him this year. Also er trainiert, aber dann hat er auch wieder lange Pausen gemacht. Mm -hmm. Das war irgendwie, er musste sich immer wieder für so ein für so ein Projekt motivieren. Also yeah. das ist so. Darauf, dann hat es ihm Spaß gemacht, wenn kein Projekt. That's it from us today. Don't forget that for all the latest climbing news and reviews, you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you tomorrow. Jimmy climbed 40 boulders of 8A plus or harder, including 11 flashes.